afternoon, this evening, and that that's the next vote in the European Parliament. And we're determined that nothing happens with that until we've had our say. Very loud. This is a protest about the fact that the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership has been kept secret from MPs and MEPs all over Europe. Recently... We're not touching the grass. Yeah, but they're falling. You are touching the grass. Yeah, I think the point that's being made here about the secrecy, the confidentiality on it, is something where we've, um, you, you know, there's been a huge, there has been some progress. The very fact that there's even an argument here about access for members of parliament at the national level to the documents is something that a few months ago you wouldn't have thought possible. That in the European Parliament more of us now have access to the papers, albeit in the reading room process which we use for all confidential documents, not just... A London member of the European Parliament who's consistently fought against TTIP, Jean Lambert. I'm going to tell you something about TTIP that's going to shock you. TTIP has been negotiating for almost three years. It was June 2013 that it was launched. Just now, this week, the draft sustainable impact assessment is available. The draft might out for comment. Now, wouldn't you think that that should have to be done before negotiations started? What basis, on what basis have they been negotiating if the sustainability impact assessment has only just now, in draft form, after three years? This is the EU. It's disgusting. I have a great pleasure in introducing Maud Barlow here, chairperson of the Council of Canadians, and if you want to hear more from her, come to the War of Want meeting this evening. Maud is here representing ordinary Canadians, who I believe are not that keen on CETA. Thank you, Maud. I'm really happy to be here on this gorgeous day in London. I live in Ottawa, and I want to tell you that this is not an agreement that pits Canada or North America against Europeans. It's an agreement that pits the corporations from our, our part of the world and your part of the world against ordinary people, and we have to build an alliance against these toxic trade deals. CETA by itself is terrible. CETA, Canada is not the kinder, is not the kinder, gentler country everybody likes to think of. We have uh, deregulated, we've privatized, we've, we've, we've uh, taken a great deal away from our social security. We have changed profoundly since we negotiated and signed the North American Free Trade Agreement 22 years ago. And that's what's going to happen to Great Britain and Europe if you get into an agreement with the United States and Canada because the standards will go down. People here tend to know about TTIP. It's very unpopular, but let me tell you, TTIP is CETA. If we manage to postpone TTIP or stop TTIP, and it's possible, I really do believe it is, there are almost 42,000 companies, American corporations, operating in Canada, and they can use CETA. They don't need TTIP. They can use it for market access. They can use it to dumb down all of the standards. You have higher food safety standards. We are the third largest GMO producer in the world, and we have no labeling. All the companies are going to be able to go through Canada and CETA to challenge the higher standards here in Great Britain. Uh, and they can all of them use the ISDS, the investor state provisions, to challenge whatever they don't like. We know about this in Canada. We work with ISDS. We're facing right now 1.75 billion euros worth of, of uh, challenges from American corporations, mainly uh, because of environmental standards that we have. So we know the story and it's going to come here. We can beat CETA, we have to put all, all of our energy into CETA now, forget TTIP for a little while, CETA's the issue now. We have time, I believe if we can hold it off long enough we can win. I want to just show solidarity from across the, the pond here 
This is not an agreement for ordinary Europeans, ordinary people from, uh, from Great Britain, or ordinary Canadians, or ordinary Americans. And the fight against these kind of toxic trade agreements is, is growing. Their day is over, they're like old dinosaurs, and we're going to... The Council of Ministers just has to decide on um, whether it's a mixed treaty or not.